everyone, today I'll be telling you, or I'll be showing you how to make your purchase of an altcoin. An example of an altcoin is Bitcoin Cash. It's basically any coin that isn't Bitcoin. That's my understanding, okay? Unfortunately, this video is not going to be short. It's going to be well over my typical goal of being under five minutes, so I will preface it with that. A few things I want to cover before I start off with the walkthrough. The first is you're going to need a Coinbase account and a GDAX account to do this. So if you have a Coinbase account, then you have a GDAX account. Okay. Second thing is you're going to need a Cryptopia account to do this as well. I don't have a video for setting up uh, Cryptopia yet, but it's a pretty straightforward process. I do have a setting up Coinbase account tutorial that's linked in the description of this video. Second thing is I want to make sure that uh, there's an understanding of the general process for buying an altcoin using Bitcoin Cash as an example. So the process is I'm going to log into Coinbase or I'm going to log into GDAX and I'm going to go into GDAX and I'm going to essentially send Bitcoin from GDAX to Cryptopia. Then from there, from Cryptopia, I am going to make my purchase for Bitcoin Cash. Um, and that's it. So with that said, I will go ahead and get started. So the first step that needs to be taken is you need to log into GDAX.com and make sure that you have a balance of Bitcoin. So since I am already in, logged into Coinbase, I don't have to log in to GDAX. As you can see, GDAX is request, making a request to the Coinbase servers because they're the same goddamn company. So stop confusing yourselves about that. Um, I have a uh, Bitcoin balance already. Uh, if you don't have a Bitcoin balance, then you need to either buy some from here or you need to deposit some Bitcoin um, from another source, such as your Coinbase wallet. I don't have to do that because I already have Bitcoin. The second thing that I need to do is I need to log in to Cryptopia. So I've already done that. You most likely are not already logged in. So go to cryptopia.co.nz. The website looks kind of weird, but it's totally legit. Uh, if you haven't registered yet, it's just like any other website. There's a register option when you're signing in. Just follow the instructions and you're registered. It's not as complicated as Coinbase is, that is for sure. So once you're logged in to Cryptopia, what you need to do is you have to generate a Bitcoin address for receiving Bitcoin from GDAX. The way that you do that is you go over to this little symbol here for uh, wallets and you say, that you want to make a deposit. Once you do that, you have to select the currency of the deposit you want to make. So you have to specify that you want to make a Bitcoin deposit. Then you click Next. Then Cryptopia will generate a deposit address for you. This is the address that you need to send Bitcoin to from GDAX. So copy and paste it. So I've copied it. I'm going to toggle over to GDAX and to go ahead and make the transfer, what I have to do is say that I want to withdraw money or Bitcoin from my GDAX account. So you have four options, bank account, bank wire, Coinbase account, and BTC address. You're going to choose the B BTC address. Uh, I'm going to paste the address that I got from Cryptopia and I'm just kind of going to toggle over to Cryptopia to make sure the address is the same so uh, I'm going to take a look and the address looks the same. I like to always double check because if you send it to the wrong address you are shit out of luck and you lose your Bitcoin. I only want to send like not that much so let's say I'm going to send point one and that. That's how much I want to send a Bitcoin. Then I have to uh, 
request a two-factor code. So this is for security to make sure nobody is fudging with your Bitcoin in GDAX. So GDAX is going to send me a text message with a code. And I'm going to go ahead and punch it in. And my code is this. Then I'm going to hit withdraw funds. And I guess I have to send more than I'm opting for. So I'm going to do the minimum. Done that. And let's try that again. It's withdrawing. Okay, you have successfully withdrawn this much Bitcoin. Awesome. So now the next thing I want to do is toggle back into uh, Cryptopia and uh, see what the status of, uh, of my uh, deposit is. So actually, I'm going to go back to that address that I was in, or I guess I can't. So what I'll do is I will go ahead and uh, basically I'm in my balances section and I'm waiting for a Bitcoin balance to show up here. So I'm going to pause this video for a second so that we don't waste your time while I wait for Bitcoin to show up. All right, so I have unpaused and resumed this video and I did a refresh and you'll see that I have this much Bitcoin now in my Cryptopia account. Uh, you'll see that it's estimated and it's estimated because it's not available. And it's not available because Bitcoin has to do, I believe, six confirmations of the transaction before it can actually make it available in here. That is just one of the nuances of Bitcoin and that'll, I can go into that on a different day. So basically now that let's, once I have Bitcoin available here, I can purchase my, uh, my Bitcoin cash. So let's just pretend that I have this amount available here. Okay. And what we would do is go to the exchange uh, tab up here in the navigation pane and we would select markets. There's different markets. There is BTC market, USDT market, NZDT market, Litecoin market, and Doge. If you don't know what these are, just Google it. I'm just gonna focus on the Bitcoin piece to keep this video short. So uh, this BTC exchange, it's literally all the different tokens I can get for my Bitcoin. So I wanna get Bitcoin Cash. So I see the price here for Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. I just hit select. And when I do that, what's gonna happen is on the right hand side, there's a buy window and a sell window. Because my Bitcoin is not available yet, it shows up as zero. So I actually can't finish this transaction during this video, but let's just pretend like it's available. So what I would do is I would just say, I want to get, um, you know, let's say 0 0.001 of, of Bitcoin Cash. And I want to pay whatever the price is. So like 1610350. And that'll tell me what the total amount is and the fees. And then I'll just make my purchase. I can't actually make my purchase for a lot of reasons. Well, for two reasons. The first is I don't actually have my Bitcoin available yet. But if I wait long enough, I will. I'm not going to wait for this video, though. The other thing is you got to have a minimum trade amount. So I need to up my trade amount. So let's try like, I think it's point, what, four zeros and a five. Gosh, so I need to do like five that much. And then I hit buy BCH, Bitcoin Cash. Once you do that, your transaction goes through immediately. And that is how you buy your first altcoin, which in this case, I'm using Bitcoin Cash as an example. The same logic applies to selling altcoins. Uh, and in my experience, when you make these transactions in Cryptopia, they're pretty immediate. 
So aside from the fact that my Bitcoin uh, is not actually available in Cryptopia just yet, that's how you use GDAX and Cryptopia to purchase your first altcoin. If you have any questions, subscribe and message me. Uh, and definitely comment your questions into the video. And I'll be more than happy to do whatever I can to help. Alright, thank you for your time. Bye-bye.